Most of Earth's history, from the formation of the Earth 4.6 billion years ago to approximately 541 million years ago, is known as the Precambrian time. Rocks of this age are found in northern Yellowstone and in the hearts of the nearby Teton, Bartooth, Wind River, and Gros Venter mountain ranges. During the Precambrian and the subsequent Paleozoic and Mesozoic eras, 541 to 66 million years ago, the western United States was covered at times by oceans, sand dunes, tidal flats, and vast plains. From the end of the Mesozoic through the early Cenozoic, mountain building processes form the Rocky Mountains. During the Cenozoic era, approximately the last 66 million years of Earth's history, widespread mountain building, volcanism, faulting, and glaciation sculpted the Yellowstone area. The Absaroka Range along the park's north and east sides was formed by numerous volcanic eruptions about 50 million years ago. This period of volcanism is not related to the present Yellowstone volcano. Approximately 30 million years ago, vast expanses of today's west began stretching apart along an east-west axis. This ongoing stretching process increased about 17 million years ago and created the modern basin and range topography, north-south mountain ranges with long north-south valleys, which characterizes much of the west, including the Yellowstone area. About 16.5 million years ago, an intense period of volcanism initiated near the borders of present-day Nevada, Oregon, and Idaho. Subsequent volcanic eruptions can be traced across southern Idaho towards Yellowstone. This 500-mile trail of more than 100 calderas was created as the North American plate moved in a southwestern direction over a shallow body of magma. About 2.1 million years ago, the movement of the North American plate brought the Yellowstone area closer to the shallow magma body. This volcanism remains a driving force in Yellowstone today.